My name is Nathan Coy, Utilities Manager for the City of Worcester. We serve a population of 27,000 people. It equates to about 10,000 customer accounts. In 2018, our facility processed 1.8 billion gallons of water. The sanitary sewer collection system consists of 161 miles of mainline inventory. And we are a 24-7 operation, 365. And to be frank, your number two is our number one business. <laughs> So wastewater, what is wastewater? Every town, every community, every individual produces wastewater and it's just simply water is the, um, the universal solvent. It's used to wash our hands, it's used for food prep, it's used to water our lawn and when people are done with it, it's gotta be removed from their homes and business and facilities to prevent things like waterborne illnesses and disease. So it flows through a series of varying sizes and age, 160 miles of mainline pipe and lift stations to get it to our facility for ultimate treatment. And what we do is we take that dirty water and we clean it up. We remove all the pollutants, we remove anything that might impede public health downstream or even at our facility. And so we have the technology there to get this water to the closest purest form, uh, almost like people haven't touched it. That's our goal. All uh, generated wastewater for the city of Worcester ends up at what we call the Headworks. At the Headworks, we have equipment that removes the inorganic material. We call it grit, sometimes sand, rocks, usually the heavier material that's gonna settle out in the flow line. The idea there is to capture that and remove it so it doesn't end up in the stream too. Uh, actually, it's cleaned, it's sprayed, it's washed and dewatered and compacted. So after the screening process, we go into what's called preliminary treatment. It's a series of uh, primary clarifiers and its job is then to remove and separate some of the heavier solids and get it to a point to where it is uh, most beneficial for our downstream process and to hit optimum treatment numbers. Our facility uh, utilizes the anaerobic digestion process is where we take the waste activated sludge from our process and even th from our third party waste and we create an environment through time and temperature uh, that we're able to harness our own methane gas for facility operation and then we create a class A biosolids product that goes to our farmers that they can use for uh, nutrient soil enrichment. So after the aeration process, what we call uh, mixed liquor suspended solids, it's where we have a mixture of our microbiology and actually good treated water in there. We send it to the secondary clarifiers. It's a physical settling process where the solids are allowed to separate from the clear water. The clear water then rolls off the tank for additional treatment before discharge into the stream. So wastewater treatment is important for communities. Well, without it, we wouldn't have communities. Um, so historically, you know, even before the dawn of modern civilization, we knew things like waterborne illness. We knew things like malaria. It's a thing of the past because what we're doing is creating a scenario where we're removing this from the civilization in a safe, healthy way and then processing it. And then we're taking that and turning it back into a renewable resource. So we have to make sure that we're doing our part, not only to sustain our community, but communities around us. That's our job to make sure that we minimize the human impact on the environment around us.